Hi, it's Steve. Today we're going to show you how to change the bellows clamp on your front load washer, and it's a really easy job. All we're going to need is a quarter inch nut driver, a flat blade screwdriver, a number 20 Torx screwdriver, a number 2 Phillips screwdriver, and a pair of lean nose pliers. Let me show you how we do it. Now before we begin this repair, the first thing we'll need to do is to disconnect power to the washer, and then we're also going to pull it far enough forward that we can access the back to remove some screws. So using our quarter inch nut driver, we'll remove three screws that are located across the back of the top panel. And then we'll just slide that top back about a half an inch and then we can lift it up and set it aside. Now next we'll pull the dispenser drawer forward, depress the release lever and then remove it and set it aside. We'll take our number 20 torque screwdriver and we'll remove a single screw that's just to the left of the opening for the dispenser. We'll next take the flat blade screwdriver. We'll go in on the right hand side and we'll depress this little plastic tab that holds the console to the front of the cabinet. And then across the top there are three more tabs that we can release. So just take your flat blade screwdriver, locate those, and gently lift the console up above those. We can pull it forward and then sit it on top of the washer out of the way. Now next we'll remove three quarter inch hex edge screws that are located below the bottom access panel. And then just support that panel as you remove the last screw Then let the panel drop down and pull it away and set it aside. Now next we'll open the door and using our number 20 torque screwdriver we'll remove these two screws that secure the door lock assembly to the front panel and then with a flat blade screwdriver we'll just go around the bottom of this bellows and you'll note that there is a spring on that clamp and a hook on the end of the spring so we're just going to take that flat blade fit it into that hook and pull some tension on that spring to release the clamp Lift it off and set it aside. You can then take that bellows and peel it away from the front panel. Then we'll just tuck it back inside the opening. And then close that door. Now next we'll remove two quarter inch hex head screws at the bottom corners of that front panel. And next we'll remove the two screws at the top, one in each corner. And as we do that, we'll need to support that front panel and door assembly. Then just carefully lift it out from the bottom, let it drop down, and then pull it away so we can set it aside. Now next we're just going to lift this door lock and latch assembly off of the little holder on the side here so that we can pivot it out of the way. And then you'll note that there is a screw that adjusts or then you'll note on the left hand side that there is a screw adjustment for that bellows clamp that we need to release. So using our Phillips screwdriver, we're just going to completely loosen that clamp. And once we've loosened it enough, we can peel it away from the bellows and discard it. Now if you were replacing the bellows at this point, you would simply peel it off the face of the tub and discard it and install your new one. Now before we install the new clamp, you may want to moisten that area that the clamp will sit into, this little V-groove right close to the back of the bellows. So just moisten it with some water or some liquid dish detergent. And we'll loosen that screw off on the new clamp, fit it into that V-groove, and we'll rotate it enough so that the screw will end up in the proper spot at about the nine o'clock position. Now if you find this tub to dispenser hose is in the way, you can actually pull that out of the face of the tub. 
and then just tuck it back out of the way. That will allow you to pull that tub far enough forward that you can line the screwdriver up to get a good grip on it. And just check periodically to make sure that the clamp is still in position. Tighten it securely. And if you removed that dispenser to tub hose, we'll need to reinsert that. You'll note there's a little indicator mark on the hose and another one on the tub. So we're just going to force the whole end of that hose into the opening. And then we'll pull it back enough so that the flanged edge sits flush. Making sure that we have it lined up properly so that the indicator mark lines up with the arrow on the tub. Now we'll set the door latch assembly back on its holder. And we're ready to put the front panel on. When reinstalling the front panel, we're going to tuck these top two corners in underneath this cross piece. And we'll need to support that whole front panel until we install the screws and tighten those securely. And then we'll install the two screws in the bottom corners. Next, we'll open the door up and we'll pull that boot out of the way. And we'll line up the door latch assembly, make sure it fits snugly in that opening. We'll install the two retaining screws and then tighten those with the number 20 Torx driver. And then we'll pull that bellows out through the opening and then we're going to hook the lip of that around that front panel where there's a little groove and we'll need to fit that carefully all the way around. Make sure it fits into that V groove nice and snug. And when it's installed right the outer edge of that bellows will lay flat against the front panel. Now next we'll take the spring clamp. We're going to position that again so that the spring is in around the six o'clock position. So we'll feed that wire into the groove all the way around. Then using our needle nose pliers we'll just grip that hook on the end of the wire, stretch the spring and then fit that wire right into that V groove, make sure it's seated properly. Now next we'll install the bottom access panel. So we're just going to tuck that up in underneath the front panel, making sure that this raised lip fits snugly up into place. And we'll install the screw in the center first. And tighten that securely and then we'll install the two outside ones. And again, make sure that they're nice and tight. And now we'll go ahead and put the control panel and the top back on. So we're going to make sure that the tab at the bottom center of that console will line up with the rectangular opening in this cross piece. And then we can just firmly push that into place, making sure that the top three tabs lock into position, as well as the one on the right hand side. We'll reinstall that screw on the left of the dispenser opening, reinstall the dispenser, lining up the rail on the left first, pushing it all the way in, make sure that it engages properly. Then we'll put the main top on, line that up side to side, and just set it down about a half an inch back from the console, push it forward, that should engage both sides. Then we'll reinstall those three retaining screws at the back. We're now ready to reconnect the power and our repair is complete.